good morning children today in dp we are going to continue the same chapter that is what is democracy why democracy children till now i think the definition or the meaning of democracy is clear to all children this word democracy is derived from the greek word demokratia demo means people and kratios mean or kratia means rule or power that means democracy is a form of government in which the rulers are elected by the common people now today we will see the broader meaning of democracy children in democratic countries all the people do not rule means a majority is allowed to take decision on behalf of the people people in democracy rule through their representative this form of democracy is called representative democracy now children what is the meaning of representative democracy it is a form of democracy in which the people of the country chooses their own representative how do they choose they choose the representative through the elections then the chosen representative of the people frame the laws for the country in representative democracy people rule through their elected representatives children the most common form of democracy that takes in our our time or which prevails in our time is a demo, is a representative democracy majority is allowed to take decision on behalf of all the people now we will see why representative democracy is better or why it is necessary children as you know modern democracies involve large number of people that it is physically impossible for them to sit together and take a collective decision that means it is not possible for any country all the people to sit in one place or in a assembly and take the collective decision instead what we do we choose a representative and that representative will take all the decision on our behalf children this you can see in the parliament of our country the member of parliament are chosen by the common people and in the parliament they take the decision make the laws run the government on behalf of common people now i think the first point is clear now the second one even if possible the citizen do not have the time desire or the skills to take part in the decisions or in the decision making children if they could sit together but there may be some citizens who may not have the time to attend that assembly or to attend that meeting or some people may not have the desire or skill to take part in the decision making process that is why the representative democracy is a better form here we elect our representative and that chosen representative take all the decisions in our in on the behalf of common people now i think children this is clear why do we need representative democracy or why representative democracy is better now difference between democracy and non democracies children in democratic government or in democracy government are elected by the adult citizens in democracy all the adult citizen have the power to elect their representatives who rules them and also 
can take back the power from them when they do not fulfill people's aspiration then citizen have fundamental rights fundamental rights protect the liberties and freedom of the citizens against any invasion of by the state they are very essential for the all round development of the individual and the country then leaders rule within the constitutional law and citizens right children we cannot neglect the views thoughts opinion and ideas of the citizen that is the citizen have say in the democratic government the people can change the ruler or the leaders if they are unhappy with them election offers a choice and fair opportunity to the people to change the current rulers the choice and opportunities are available to all the people on an equal basis the exercise of this choice leads to the government limited by the basic rules of the constitution and the citizens right and the next one is accountability democracy provides a responsive or accountable government because it is formed by the elected representatives of the people citizens have right to participate in decision making that affects them all now the non democracy first point government is not elected it is either dictatorship or monarchy in dictatorship one person or a small group possess absolute power without effective constitutional limitations and in monarchy the supreme authority is vested in the monarch an individual ruler who functions as the head of the country and who achieves his or her position through the hereditary that means in both the cases they are not elected by the common people next no rights to the citizen in non democratic countries people do not have fundamental rights such as freedom of speech and expression protest against the ruler no freedom to elect their rulers etc then leaders rule as they feel like as they wish people do not elect their rulers and have no right in decision making no accountability the rulers are not accountable to the people and their needs now children when democracy is used for organizations other than government democracy is not only about rulers and the government democracy is a principle that can be applied to any sphere of life democratic decisions involve consultation with the consent of all those who are affected by that decision in this sense it can be applied to any organization other than the government we can have democratic class from where the student can ask questions without hesitation where the teacher have a democratic temperament where the the interaction is not one way traffic but healthy two way interaction children in the same way democracy can be seen in the family in your homes in your house families where the decisions are not taken by any one individual and imposed on the rest of the family member all the family member should sit together and should arrive at a general consensus thus democracy is a principle that can be applied to any sphere of life and can take many forms children sometime we use the word democracy not to describe any existing government but to set up an ideal standard that all democracy must aim to become now what is an ideal standard democracy children 
true democracy will come to a country only when no one goes hungry to bed in a democracy every citizen must be able to play an equal role in decision making for this an equal right to vote is not sufficient every citizen need to have equal information basic education equal resources and a lot of commitment if we take these ideals seriously then no country in the world is a perfect democracy every democracy has to try to realize the ideals of democratic decision making it cannot be achieved once and for all it requires a constant efforts to save and strengthen democratic reforms or democratic forms of decision making the work attitude and the views of the citizens are the major element in making their country more or less democratic the fate of the country depends not just on what the rulers do but mainly on what the citizen do Democr- democracy depends on active political participation by all the citizens that's all for today children thank you and have a nice day